Hey, my name is Miguel Garcia and I want to tell you a little about what do I do. I manufacture and distribute the Metiontropronic devices. But, what are the Metiontropronic devices? That's what I want to explain to you. These devices are pronic energy and electromagnetic energy transmutators. They are made of three main elements. The first one is the resin. The second one is metal and finally the third is quartz. Each one has a purpose in its functioning. I studied electronic engineering. I considered myself very skeptical on any other term that wasn't official science. I'm very very familiar with transmissions and electromagnetism and the resin is a polymer that has electrostatic properties that attract the atoms with a positive charge from the environment. Metal is a great electric conductor. We are surrounded by electromagnetic radiation as natural as artificial. That radiation has energy. That energy will transform into a magnetic current by magnetic induction. On every matter, any current will see the best conductor to go through, in this case, is the metal. It doesn't need to be a specific metal, while it is a conductor. The wire also being a coil. Works as an antenna. The design that has these coils, as you can see repeated patterns, are called fractal antennas. We are filled and surrounded by electromagnetic radiation, natural and artificial. Even in the woods, we have electromagnetic radiation from the sun, from the earth itself. Even from other planets we are reached with radiation. The quartz is used as a frequency regulator. From radio transmission antennas and like on your cell phone, each of them has quartz that regulates the operative frequency of the antenna. In this case, we use only natural quartz. Natural quartz work on low frequencies. The quartz used on transmission antennas, on telecommunications, the synthetic quartz of high frequency. High frequencies are the ones that harm us. Low frequencies like natural frequencies obviously as natural doesn't harm us. So the function of the quartz on the device is regulate that radiation into low frequencies, transform high frequencies into low ones. The cell phone radiation radio signals tv satellite signals are from 900 megahertz to higher frequencies up to ghc signals now that we know what is the role of each element i want to tell you more about how it works as said we are surrounded by m energy everything in the universe is on a range of the electromagnetic spectrum even colors are electromagnetic radiation this radiation affects us directly onto the nervous system, particularly on the heart. Having a cell phone near the heart alters its frequency, like if the heart copies the frequency. Also the brain. Wearing a device like this will help to reroute and transmute that energy so we don't copy a synthetic pattern of radiation. A high frequency pattern will lower it down. So let's say we are in an isolated room with radiation of 2 gigahertz, which is very common on electronic devices and cell phones. That radiation will go directly to our body, precisely to the heart, and the heart will start to be altered and will alter our nervous system. That explains the high levels of stress on cities. So what that radiation will do instead of reaching our body directly, will reach the device better conductor present the device is it has a conductor and antenna, a fractal antenna, in this case, it will reach there and will start going through the wire. The wire is magnet wire. This means that each cord is isolated from the other. Oh, even when the cords are near each other, the electron, let's say it enters right here, or it has to circulate all, 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 all the winding, all of it. It can't jump from one point to another. So after going through the wire, an electric current is created by magnetic induction phenomena well known on physics and electronic. Every electromagnetic radiation has two components, an electric and a magnetic component. 
the magnetic component will survive in this ambit and will create a biomagnetic field. Why do we call it a biomagnetic field? Because it will be a natural field, controlled and regulated by the quartz. This quartz will work on a low frequency that will help the same as the biomagnetic pair used by many doctors today. The quartz works thanks to its piezoelectric property. That property works thanks to the resin compression. What is the piezoelectric property of the quartz? The molecular structure of the quartz has electrons. On each corner is like a cube where in each corner is an electron O. Oh, when we compress it, at one electron at least of each atom is released creating a difference in potential. This also is possible due to the ability of the quartz to absorb the cosmic rays. That released electron is emitted on a certain rhythm or frequency as is called on physics. This means that every certain period an electron is being released. This makes that the turn of the electron inside the wire keep that frequency or rhythm. So it will change from the high frequency to the low frequency. These devices are born thanks to a friend since all life was very interested and aware of the orgone energy on the organite and he came up with the idea of creating a coil and included on the design thinking on an energy vortex. When he shows me the design, I was studying electronic engineering and it called my attention because besides being a coil that creates a vortex it was the antenna, it was working as an antenna, so it has all the electromagnetic and radiation meaning, although he mastered all the esoteric. An alternative energy side, let's say alternative. When he showed it to me, I thought that it worth research more on scientific terms. Even into quantum mechanics. So from there, we started to research more and more, documenting all. The design was improved. The coil was improved so it works as a very efficient fractal antenna. The quartz was located into the specific place where it's meant to be. To work really as an energy vortex where we are near to the zero point energy the original idea of him was to use copper plates instead of a coil but as he didn't know the method of manufacturing the copper plate he created the coil now known as starship coil is funny because when he explains it to me I knew how to do the copper plates because the printed circuit boards of electronic engineering. So it was after when the original idea of copper plate was included in the design, as in this pendant, and the quantic resonators were born. In a quantic resonator, we have a copper plate with geometry in the center. That plate works as a reflector antenna. Better said, as the reflector part of the antenna. This will do two things, firstly reflect the energy. But not all of it, only on the geometry and besides that. Will allow imprinting the rest of energy on our body is like that energy is imprinted in us. Very similar to the energy of the crop circles on earth. Seeking ideal materials for the manufacturing of the devices. We found that the resin is a polymer that has the physical ability to arrange molecularly according to the resonance of whatever we are manufacturing, in this case to the resonance of the quartz. This device also do, aside from the electromagnetic protection, is that emits ions, I put because they aren't being created. What it does is that all the atoms that are in the environment, of air or water or whatever, have positive or negative charge, one of them. The positive charge ions are responsible for the oxidation of, for example, a fruit it is left outdoor starts to decompose to oxide. Is what oxide also our skin what makes us age? What doesn't make ill by itself but make us vulnerable to sickness, lower down our immune system? And the negative ions help us on the contrary.
With this test, we will use an electronic ion detector. It is important to take care of the measure and do it in the correct way we have to ground the hand which will take the reading. We need to touch the front plate and avoid contact with the back plate which will detect the ion by a square centimeter of the air. We can see the reading is in the range of 5,170,000. It clearly shows that when we get near it, it appears an ionizing made by the device.